Hello and welcome to this new Quick Take episode. My name is Philippe Ozil, I'm a developer advocate at Salesforce. And in today's episode, I'm going to tell you how you can format Apex code 10 times faster with the right Preacher config. For those who don't know this great tool, Preacher is a code formatter. It works with a variety of languages, HTML, JavaScript, JSON, Markdown, and also Apex. And we can also integrate it in a number of IDEs, like VS Code, for instance. We use Preacher and an Apex plugin in the Salesforce DX projects. And here you can see the Node.js scripts that lets us prettify our code. And you can see the different file extensions, including the CLS files, which are Apex classes. So how does this work? You can trigger the Preacher script by typing npm run Preacher. But here, I'm going to add something before. I'm going to add the time command before, so that we can measure how long it takes to run our command. And here we go. You can see that Preacher is looking at our different files. And something you'll notice, as soon as we start getting into the CLS files, which are Apex, it starts to take almost a second per file. And this is actually very long for processing. For our demo today, I chose to use Apex recipes. This is one of our sample apps that is dedicated to Apex. So there's a large volume of Apex classes here. And processing will take a lot of time, so I will just fast forward so that we can see the duration of the operation. All right, drop down in 207 seconds. That's almost three minutes and a half. Of course, it doesn't look like much when you do it once, but the problem is when you repeat this operation daily and several times a day, this can lead to some lost time. So why is this taking so long? We have Preacher running on Node.js that calls its different plugins based on the file types it's scanning. At some point, it's going to call the Preacher Apex plugin to scan an Apex file, and each time it does so, it needs to start the Apex parser. Now, the problem is that the Apex parser relies on Java. And the Java Virtual Machine has a cost for startup. It takes about half a second to start up the Java Virtual Machine, which is not so much when you start it once. But if you start repeatedly, it will add up and it will take a lot of time. So the question is, what can we do to avoid starting the parser each time? The answer is to start a standalone parser. And so we'll have roughly the same configuration, except that we'll have a server running, which is called a standalone parser server. And it only starts once. And after that, the Preacher Apex plugin will interrogate it to read the different Apex files. And this will lead to much faster operation. Let's see it in action now. So I'm back in my terminal in VS Code. This time I'm opening a second terminal. I'm going to run a command to start the standalone server npm run apex local start. This starts my server. And you can see the command is defined here in my package JSON file. So I'm firing the server now. It is started. At this point, I can no longer use this terminal. The server is open. I will move to my second terminal and I will run again the kind of same command I had before, but this time running with the standalone parser mode. So I'm going to do time again to measure the time it takes. npm run preacher apex local. And now this time you'll notice how fast it goes. It takes just a few hundred milliseconds to parse Apex files. I can fast forward this a bit now and we can look at the result. That's it, drop down, it took only 20 seconds to achieve the same result. Now that I'm done with parsing, I can shut down my standalone parser by running Apex local stop. And if I look at my other terminal, I can see that the server is stopped. Some numbers to wrap this up. We've been looking at how we can apply Preacher to Apex recipes, and this is about almost 15,000 lines of Apex. It took 3.5 minutes to run with the default configuration, and we lowered this number to 20 seconds. That's 10 times faster with the improved configuration in the Apex standalone parser mode. I hope that you found this content useful. Make sure you let us know. Hit subscribe and that bell to get notified when we release new content. Thanks for watching.